I was born to get it on, man. I'm not, you know, I'm not a pussyfoot, can I? You know, we were born to rumble. Yeah. Hey, come on, you men. Come on, slap yourself. Hey, come on. Hey, we're born to rumble. Amen. Women love, love men that are born to rumble. They do. My wife, she clings to me like that. She loves me. She says, I, I, you, you're just born to rumble, man. Everywhere we go, we rumble for the Holy Ghost. We tear it up. I had one preacher say to me once, aren't you scared that, you know, the way you carry on, aren't you just scared of the devil? I ain't no scared of no devil. Listen, if you stay right, if you stay in tune with God, you live right and you do the right thing and you're in prayer and you're walking with God, you don't have to be scared of the devil because Amen. the Bible says in Luke 10, 19, behold, I've given you power to tread upon scorpions and upon serpents and upon all the powers of the evil one and nothing shall harm you or hurt you in any way. Now, the, now, sometimes the devil will use people like the Apostle Paul. Look what happened to him, right? But spiritually speaking, those devils cannot touch you. Amen. Jesus said they will not be able to touch you because the anointing and the power of Jesus' name and the authority of walking by faith in the Word of God and living right, you and I can rumble. We can go into a city and we can tear that baby up and we can have revival and we can fast and pray and press in like a hound dog from heaven. I said we can press in like a hound dog from heaven and we can rumble and we can get into the Spirit and we can hold on to the Word of faith. And we can walk by power of faith. You know, the Bible says in Luke 22, I think it is 31 or something like that. Jesus said, Jesus said to Peter, 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 he said, hey, Peter. And Peter probably said, well, what? He said, Satan has demanded permission to sift you like wheat. Simon, Simon has asked to sift you like wheat. In another translation, it says demanded. Mm -hmm. Let's go down to the next one. 32. But I have prayed for you, Simon, that your faith will not fail you. And when you have turned back, strengthen your brethren. Amen. Jesus, who was God in the flesh, told Peter, Satan has demanded permission to sift you like we. He wants to put you through the rock crusher. He wants to put you through the washing machine and the dryer and the wringer and iron you out all in one day. But I have prayed for you that your faith would not fail you. If you will stand on your faith and pray and press in and live right, you and I can march through the land like commandos. We can, the women can be Naomi's and Ruth's and the men can be Josh, Joshua's and Caleb. You need to, we, you women and you men, we all need to get a bit of a ooh in our ooh. We need to get a bit of backbone in us, and then we need to fast and pray and press in and hold on to what God wants us to hold on to and press in. And the Bible says in Jude, now I'm preaching. Now the Bible says in Jude chapter 3, it says that we are to contend for the faith that was once delivered to the saints. We have to contend for it. We have to fight for it. You have to stand your ground. And if you think the devil's not going to fight you, he's going to come out like a growling lion. But he's toothless because greater is the lion of Judah that's behind us. We have the glory. We have faith. We have the power of God. We have the glory of God's spirit. Greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. Greater is the Spirit of God in us than he that is in the world. You know, the Bible says in Romans uh, 8, verses 11, the same Spirit that raised Jesus from the dead lives in you. Yeah. Yeah. Put your hand on your belly. Yeah. Just say, in here, yeah. the Spirit of Jesus, Spirit the Holy Jesus. Ghost, Holy is greater Spirit. than any devil. Yeah. And this power that lives in me, Raised the body of Jesus from the dead. And this power that lives inside of me. 
be over. I'm going to march through the land. Like a Naomi and a Ruth. Like a Joshua and a Caleb. Devil, we're going to tear it up. And God has promised us that no devils, no scorpions, no vipers can touch us or hurt us or harm us. In any way, they turn to somebody and say, Why don't you believe it? Why don't you believe it? Yes, amen. Hallelujah. Glory to the God. Hallelujah. I love it. Yeah, the devil's real and the demons are real, and the whole world is in the grip of the evil one, does its bidding. But you were in darkness. You're not in darkness anymore. Therefore, walk in the light as he is in the light and fellowship with one another and fellowship with the Holy Ghost. Amen. Fellowship with the Holy Ghost. Yes. Amen. There's a beautiful scripture. Uh, it's found in uh, 2 Corinthians 13, 14. 2 Corinthians 13, 14. It says, may the, Holy, may the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you. Don't you love that one? You and I need to fellowship with each other but we need to fellowship with the Holy Spirit. Oh, yeah. And as we fellowship with the greater one that lives in us than he that is in the world, when we fellowship with the same power that raised Jesus from the dead, when we fellowship with the great I am who lives inside of us, may the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you. Fellowship with the Holy Spirit. I was fellowshipping with the Holy Spirit that night. I could have said, I'm going to go, if I wasn't listening to the Lord, if I wasn't listening to the Lord, I could have ended up in Sydney and it would have been like pushing a, 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 a car uphill with flat tyres in the Spirit. <laughs> there would have been nothing there. It would have, you know, God would have still used me a little bit, but the fire wouldn't be there. Amen. Where He is, there the eagles will gather. <laughs> Where he is, there the eagles will gather. So we're not buzzards. We're not, we're not barely getting along the street down by Grumble Alley, leaning up against insecurity posts, broke, busted, and disgusted. Are we, spiritually speaking, we are balls in the spirit. We're like hound dogs from heaven. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. So Pastor Eddie put up this big tent and um, and we did a whole lot of advertising that week and and all sorts of stuff and I went on the television and, and cut some ads and we placed the ads on all the main television stations in Portland at that time. We had five cable stations and uh, it was just awesome. That Friday night, I didn't know how many was going to turn up, that Friday night there was 1,730. Somebody, he got them to count them. The place was packed. And that very night, we saw three people get out of wheelchairs. We saw seven or eight people on Payne's crutches in Walker's Hill. There, there was a woman that was blind. There was a couple, several people that were deaf. There was uh, a couple of people on, I think four or three or four, I'm not sure. I have it in my book. But um, um, they were on oxygen bottles and they were healed and they get up healed. These people were healed. The miraculous power of God healed these people. Amen. And uh, that night, 193 people, I remember, we have it all on record, all the data on record, 193 people got born again for the first time in the big camp. 